Welcome to another episode of Make Adventure Happen podcast. In this podcast, we talk about travel. We talk about our own travel experiences in different places around the world. And sometimes we talk about specific travel destinations. But talking about specific travel destinations, we answer also some of the most popular questions about these places, about these destinations. Today, our destination, the place that we are going to talk about is Okinawa, an island, a region in Japan, place where we spent almost a month this year in 2024. It's the southernmost part of Japan. It's the part of Japan that's less visited by Western tourists. It's also a part of Japan that's less known for Western tourists. And let's start with the question, what kind of travel destination Okinawa is from our perspective? Like a short term destination where you just go for a day or two, like for a weekend? Um, mid length destination where you go for maybe a week or two, not a day or two? Or a long-term place, like from our perspective. I think it's uh, more of a mid, mid, a mid-term. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mid-term. Mid-length. Uh, yeah. Mid-length. Yeah. Mid-length. Um, because uh, I think two or three days is not e- enough mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. visiting Okinawa because there is there are just too many places to visit. Yeah, yeah. In and around in in and around Okinawa. Yeah, so you would say like it's like two two weeks mm-hmm. from, from no, your... I mean, if you are a regular tourist, maybe yeah. a week or yeah, a week, yeah, and then another week in some other places in Japan, mm-hmm. I would say. Um, but uh, but <laughs> it's also a good place to stay, like for a couple of months. That's if you are uh, traveling slowly and take your time. That's exactly what I wanted to say. Like from a tourist tourist perspective, yeah, maybe like a week, but yeah. from a, actually from our perspective as long term travelers, I would say that it's a long term destination. It can easily be a long term destination if you enjoy these kind of more relaxed places. Okinawa is not very happening place, but it's mm-hmm. also not like a tiny and mm-hmm. quiet place at all. Mm-hmm. You can also easily stay like mm-hmm. months or two months and enjoy yeah. lots of places to go. Yeah. Islands. Yeah, there are several islands. So Okinawa mm-hmm. is the main island mm-hmm. where Naha is. Naha is the capital. Mm-hmm. Well, the largest island with the capital city of Naha is the main island. And there are several others around uh, Okinawa, like, well, I, actually I don't remember the Tokashiki. names. Tokashiki. Tokashiki, yes, for example, and several other islands. There are plenty of them and the beaches are very, very beautiful. And I think if you want to visit Okinawa, mm-hmm. the main island and the islands around Okinawa, I think it will take some, uh, at least, a mo- uh, sorry, a week. Mm-hmm. Just like a f- from yeah. a tourist, tourist perspective. Yes. But I will go again to the fact mm-hmm. that it's a long term place because lots of things to do. Yes. Easy to do actually because yeah. there are public yeah. transport, public buses, yes. ferries, yes. lots of nice restaurants. Yeah. Uh, affordable prices, cheaper, accommodation is cheaper than in yeah. many other places in Japan. There are gyms. Oh, yes. There are sight to see, yeah. like he said. Okay, so long-term destination for long-term travelers, mm-hmm. a week or so for regular tourists. Mm-hmm. And definitely try, like, don't, don't, don't skip it. Try not to skip it. Let's go there maybe also for just a couple of days, like just to see the Beach side Japan, like more tropical Japan. Yeah, it's interesting how Japan can be tropical. Yeah. As well, I didn't know it be- before I came to Okinawa. Well, before I started, 
they're, they're searching Okinawa. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go now to Google. I have typed in Okinawa. Let's look at the most popular questions and let's answer them. The first question is on Google, why is Okinawa so famous? For those for which it is famous. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if it is famous at all. Well, but but I'm sure maybe it's more famous, more known for Americans, I would guess. Well, for, for its beaches and tropical weather. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. it, probably, mm -hmm. that's it. And for Americans, it's also known as the like the mili military, military base. Yeah, uh, the biggest military base yeah. in Asia is in America. The biggest American military base in Asia is in Okinawa, Japan. Mm -hmm. So quite a lot of Americans, as a result, yeah. are there. But yeah, uh, I also don't think it's like really famous, famous. But for those who know it, yeah. it's for the beaches. Yes, and uh, being uh, like a tropical mm. destination with the beautiful uh, beaches and islands and I think it's called uh, the Hawaii of Japan mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I yeah. believe next question is Okinawa a part of Japan yes yes <laughs> it's yes. an island well it's a group of, a island. group of islands in Japan yeah. it's Japan and I'm reading here that uh, from 1945 until 1972, so for almost 30 years, the islands were under control of the US. Oh wow, that's interesting. I guess that's why, for example, tattoos are more kind of allowed in Okinawa than yeah. they are in other places in Japan. Yeah, but and also Okinawa feels more Western than the rest of Japan. Yes. Some, somewhat. Yes more similar to the western world speaking of that remember we were uh, and ah uh, we were we and, were thinking about yeah. like, talking about this and we came to conclusion that okinawa feels like a western jet like yeah West, westernized japan. westernized japan but not very westernized but kind of westernized but and it's westernized i think it's it feels different. Yeah, it feels different to the rest of Japan, but... Still very Japan? Yeah. Uh, it's it's interesting. I was surprised when I came to Okinawa to, and I learned that uh, they like tacos and burgers. Mm -hmm. And I guess I, now I know from where it come from, mm -hmm. uh, came from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, other tourist things from about Okinawa. Is Okinawa good for tourists? Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes, yes. It's yes. very organized and there's public transport mm -hmm. and it's uh, quite budget friendly and mm -hmm. it's not too big so mm -hmm. uh, traveling around is not really a problem. Yeah. Is Okinawa expensive? You said no. already that it no, isn't. It's not. It's, it's cheaper than the rest of Japan. Well, at least in 2024. At least when it comes to accommodation. Yeah. It, not only. Uh, you feel it very strongly with accommodation because in Okinawa in 2024 you, can, you could find a room, nice room also for like 30 American, yeah. 35 American dollars, yeah. 30 euros. While in the while in the more popular places, mm -hmm. it's gonna cost you more like maybe 70 euros for similar quality. Mm. And remember that hostel, capsule hotel. Capsule hotel, yes. The very first stay for us in yeah. Japan, in Okinawa. I made also a video, it was the second video from Japan. Amazing place and only 20 euros, 18. Per person, yeah. Cheap. Um, otherwise, about uh, speaking of costs, like uh, a meal, cheap meal, cheap local meal, um, what are the local people are eating? Um, five euros or less. Yeah, yeah, surprising as it may sound, five euros or less, sometimes even just three euros. Well, if it, three euros, if it's like something uh, like you can buy, like uh, takeaway, like mm -hmm. we we. 
we ate at some bakery and they had like these prepackaged meals mm -hmm. and it was like four or three euros even. Mm -hmm. But at a um, sit down cafe or eatery, it's it's going to be five or six. Yeah, five, six, seven maybe. But uh, the cheapest places and where yeah. many people yeah. go, it's convenience stores. You can buy, uh, you can these. buy yes, a lot of stuff in convenience stores and supermarkets. I mean, packaged yeah. like meals. Yes, yes. And in all these cheaper places like convenience stores, you can get a meal for starting from maybe 3 euros. Yeah, three it's dollars. very uh, budget friendly. And uh, but transportation, it, it could be quite uh, well, not too expensive, but it's not cheap either. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, yeah, I think it was an hour bus ride, it was about hour long for hour and a half, mm -hmm. and it was about 10 euros per person, which is not cheap. You mean going to the American village? I think it was no, maybe no, no, like no, five. No. Um, it was. Uh, Aquarium? To the aquarium, yes. It was more like two hours, no? Okay. okay well, or maybe an hour thirty, yeah. Yeah, be. well, yeah, it's, it's I think it's somewhat more expensive than the rest of Japan because uh, the rest of Japan has like a lot, a lot of trains and trains are cheaper in, well, except, exception is the... Shinkansen, <laughs> the fast Shink, one, yeah. the fast train. But on Okinawa, there's only uh, like a metro which is in the city, yeah. and uh, between the towns of the island, there's like only bus. Well, bus network. There's mm -hmm. several buses, mm -hmm. but still, yeah. So there are no trains, and trains trains are cheaper usually, and there are no trains on Okinawa. Except for Shikatsu. Okay. No, I mean... Yeah, yeah, I, am. I understand, I understand. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. It's, uh, to sum it up, rooms are affordable, very affordable. Um, getting around, not cheap, but of, okay. okay, affordable. Cheapest meals, super affordable. Normal meals, okay. Coffee is affordable. Coffee, good. Yeah, and the entrance fee is affordable. Yeah. Not the cheapest of just cheap, but uh, yeah. for example, that aquarium where we went. Yeah, that was like 15 or 12 euros per person. And consider it one of the very best yeah. in the world. It was impressive. And it's so big. Ferries. Also, not cheap like the buses, oh, yeah, but uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, the ferries are okay. Well, the ferries between. Uh, on the Okinawan Islands, but yeah, not too expensive, but not too mm -hmm. cheap either. Next, 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 next. Enough, enough about the money. The best months to visit Okinawa? Spring I and autumn? I would say spring and autumn, like maybe May, mm -hmm. April, May, mm -hmm. and probably September, I'm not sure. April, May is fine, mm -hmm. but there can be rain in April. Yeah. Maybe May is better. And hotter, warmer. Yeah. Depending on what you are looking for. Yeah. If you are going to the beach and if you want to spend most of yeah. your time on the beach, closer to the May it's gonna be more hot. Mm -hmm. I guess the same goes also with the September. What does the internet say? Late, uh, late April. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Late April, October or November. Okay, but so I guess late April and October are like the top top. Yeah. Because November most likely is gonna be again getting colder, seem like. No, I, April. I think this is the shoulder season with less tourists. I think uh, top season is uh, in. Um, okay, okay, in, okay. In Sorry. July. Sorry. Okay, and the best, best, best. Okay. Because usually these uh, short snippets they provide uh, like information when there uh, when there is less tourists. The, no, no, according no, no. to them, it's the best time when it's the less tourists. No. 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 Um, forget about everything we said. <laughs> um, June to end of November. Okay. Don't go. June. Oh. 
to October, November 30th. Don't go. What? This is the rainy season. Oh, okay. Typhoon season. And starting from end of November, so December, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, until June 1st. So June, no. Wow. So winter and spring. Winter and spring. That's the best time to go to Okinawa. And uh, depending on how warm, hot weather you like and want, yeah go in the appropriate months like the hottest is may april when we were okay. april it was nice but it was raining sometimes yeah it was raining sometimes and uh, there were scary thunder thunderstorms i don't i don't even i don't even remember mm -hmm. seeing and hearing like such strong uh, thunders and huge lightnings and it was in april I don't know. I don't want to know what it's gonna be like now in June, mm -hmm. in July when it's like the rainy season. It's crazy. Next month. Next month. Next question. What months can you swim in Okinawa? From I think all year. What I know. Yes, all year. All in year. April it was nice. Mm -hmm. The coldest sea temperature in Okinawa is around twenty degrees Celsius. Okay, if you are from right. Latvia, it's like the middle of the summer. <laughs> Next question. How to get around in Okinawa with, without a car? Car is an option. Bus. Motorbike is an option. But bus, to, bus. Go by bus. Bus and metro if you are in the city. Ah, you mean metro in the city and yeah, bus met, outside. Yeah, bus, uh, bus between the towns yeah. and metro in the city. And between the islands, it's a uh, ferry. Yes. And flights, actually, flights. Because there are some islands that are located quite far away from Okinawa. Mm -hmm. And I think you can you need to take a flight. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like a small plane, but yeah. Mm -hmm. There are flights as well to mm -hmm. the more, more remote islands of mm -hmm. Okinawa. By the way, I, I think the most beautiful... The mo the islands that are considered the most beautiful Okinawan islands are located closer to Taiwan than it's than Japan. Yeah. Closer to Taiwan than Japan. So, even yeah. more to the south. Yeah. Taiwan is to the south from Japan. Yeah. And uh, if you are coming from Taiwan, uh, like we did, it's like I think it's like less than two hour long flight from. Taiwan to mm -hmm. Okinawa. From Taipei. Yeah, one, one and a half or one forty. Yeah, yeah. It's very it's More a short less. flight. And a cheap, quite a cheap flight too. So you can combine actually not Japan and uh, Okinawa, but it's a possibility for you to combine Taiwan and Okinawa. Mm -hmm. Well, you will need to go through immigration of course because Taiwan is Taiwan and Okinawa is Japan but it's another it's another option to combine the trip to Taiwan with the trip to Okinawa yeah because these are very close mm -hmm. in fact I think Fukuoka one of the largest uh, town uh, cities in Japan is located further from Okinawa than um, yeah, then Taiwan. Taiwan. Taipei. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I think there are no large, uh, no large cities close to Okinawa. In fact, it works both ways. Yeah. You can combine like the rest of Japan yeah. with Okinawa, or let's say Taiwan. It's also an option. Taiwan and Okinawa. It's gonna be like somewhat similar, like Okinawa and uh, Tokyo, Kyoto, and these places. Yeah. Tokyo and Kyoto and these other places. They are further away from. Yeah. Okinawa, then Taiwan. Taiwan is closer. Um, okay, what to know before visiting Okinawa? Um, it's Japan. If you need a visa, you need a visa. If you don't need, like us, we don't need. Yeah, Europeans don't need a visa. And then, I believe Americans do not need either. Yeah, then you don't need. Uh, arrival to Okinawa was super easy. Yeah, Airport, but there are like, so close to the city. There, the uh, procedures in the airport are a bit more uh, stressful than in other places. Like upon arrival, you need to 
well, or before, you need to fill in some customs declaration mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, quite a large, quite a long form. Well, it was online. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's lo like a long form or that. Well, you need to complete like two forms for yeah. customs and the other for arrival, and then they ch they might check your bags uh, and they might like well. There was some sort of procedure for screening, and I don't remember correctly already, but I think they checked for drugs. I think that may be related to the fact that these were us, not not you. Because yes. you see, we were we were Latvians coming from Taiwan. Like yeah. why Latvians coming from Taiwan? I think that mm -hmm. triggered some maybe, extra maybe, maybe. procedures. But, uh, but, yeah, but yeah, still, there were more procedures. Like there, you needed to fill out one extra form mm -hmm. and the queues were longer because you needed to show those forms somewhere like in a couple of places and it was but all in all if you are a, like a regular traveler do not not bringing any illegal substances mm -hmm. into the country it's fine yes it's, it's more forms than uh, yeah it's more forms than the in usual. many other places and I think you're not allowed to, to bring in some like meats and yes. fruits and nuts and stuff like that. Yes, yes, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Check the list of prohibited items in case yeah. you are planning to bring something more than, I don't know, clothing, yeah. your computer and stuff. Yeah. If you bring something more, check. What are the rules? Yeah, like, I don't know. They were very careful. Yeah, yeah. Because, they were checking these things. Yeah, yeah. because if you bring a, a sandwich, uh, I don't think it's a good idea because it contains meat and you might get some problems. I don't know. Okay, but uh, otherwise, I think the great thing is that uh, the airport in Okinawa, the Nehraha airport, is so close to the city. Yeah, it's like about. 10 minutes on a train, nice. on a metro train. Cheap. Cheap, yes. Comfortable, convenient. Yeah. Okay, the next question. Can you... Can you wear shorts in yes, Okinawa? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Can you... Again, can you go get around Okinawa without a car? Yes. 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 Use the public transportation. Use Google Maps to yeah. find the right bus. Lots of buses. If you are staying in Naha, which is the capital city of Okinawa, there is at least one large bus terminal. Mm -hmm. And uh, from that bus terminal you can get up just about anywhere. Yeah. Uh, what? 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 Okay, this one. Uh, top places to visit in Okinawa, in our experience. I would say let's start with the Let's and start the with our experience. Aquarium. And those yeah. two islands. Tokashiki and uh, yeah, the, uh, the other. Check K out. Kodaka. Kodaka. Tokashiki and Kodaka. Um, uh, we have two videos from these yeah, places. Yeah. Um, aquarium. Yes. With all the fish and uh, whale sharks. and. We have a video race. from that place. Uh, the city is interesting, just take a, take a walk in the city. Yeah, yes. it's pretty interesting. If you are into shopping, yeah. go to, go to, I'll check it on the map, uh, uh, next to the airport, not far from the airport. Yeah, there south was, of the airport. There was, this, the airport. there was this outlet village. Yeah, it's cheap. I was surprised about this because we don't really think about shopping when we yeah. travel, but uh, we needed this time, and we went there, and uh, we were surprised that the prices are really good there. Okinawa Outlet Mall, Ashibina. It's south. Well, it's it's like that. It's south from uh, Okinawa Outlet Mall, Ashibina, down from the airport yeah, yeah, yeah. near the. Senaga Beach. Yeah, cool and place. those two Cheap beaches, place. like there are, there's like this pretty island, uh, which Senaga. Senaga Island and Senaga Beach. You can see the planes from there, and yeah, it's a nice uh, plane watching spot. And this uh, 
The other was, wait. You mean the beach? There was another, not far from uh, this um, outlet. What is the outlet? And, yeah, American Village, quite an interesting place. Chura Sun Beach. Chura Sun. It's also not far from the outlet, like probably 10 minutes walk from there. Yeah, that's it. From me. American Village, quite an interesting place. At the same time, I would say you can also skip it. If you are from Latvia or from Europe, I don't think it's that interesting from a Western perspective. It's more maybe interesting from an Asian perspective. If you are living in Japan and you want maybe. to see a different kind of place. Okay, Cape but, Chinen, you wanted to mention it. Uh, yeah, Cape Chinen is a nice place in the south of Okinawa, main island. Where, what else? What else? Uh, Those we two didn't... I, I, I already mentioned them. And uh, from what we didn't visit, uh, from what we didn't visit, I wanted to mention these two islands. The ones that you said are near to Taiwan, yeah. Ishigaki yeah. and Irimote Jima. Ishigaki and Irimote Jima, two islands that I have heard are very pretty, interesting and beautiful and unique and you must visit them. Mm -hmm. Is... This is going to be the next question. Is hundred dollars enough the money question? We, I think we talked about money a lot. So hundred dollars yes. a day, one person enough? Yes, of course. 30, 40 euros a room, 30 euros, 20 euros easily food. And the transportation. Transportation, <laughs> some entrance fees, yeah. something. Yeah. You can even do hundred dollars for two people. Mm -hmm and do pretty well unless you are going to like lots of places that require entrance fee or you are I don't know drinking vodka 20 liters then 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 it won't be but uh, otherwise yeah even the the place that we went to quite a few times the Spanish place Italian place this pizza place pizza, pizza place places, uh, Spanish Spanish yeah. kind of Spanish yeah well, they serve tapas, uh, well, s European. Even they were very okay, like uh, a meal was maybe 30 euros for two people, mm. 25. And it, it was like on the more expensive end. Um, okay, what language is spoken? And I think it doesn't really matter, it's Japanese, but let's Japanese, answer the... But some, quite a lot of people understand English. That's yeah. that, that's what I wanted to go to. Is Japanese while uh, Japanese is English widely spoken? Not English. really, but most people can understand basic stuff. Yes. Yeah, or you can use Google Translate. It always work, works well. Yes, I will agree with Una. With English, you can get by in Okinawa. I was actually surprised that it was this easy. I was ready to have it more challenging, for example, on the buses that uh, it won't be, I don't know, like, that I won't be able to understand how things work and that the driver won't be able to explain these things, but they speak no, some English. They, they speak some English and as a result, traveling without knowing Japanese is possible. Mm -hmm. Is it better than in the rest of Japan, in Tokyo? And Tokyo, like, okay, to Tokyo is a completely different place. Fukuoka? Could be. Because of the American presence. So, so Okinawa was easier than yeah, Fukuoka? Yeah, I think so, yeah. In Tokyo, similar, because there are a lot of um, people from abroad mm -hmm. coming and working and just, you know... Tourists? Uh, tourists. Mm -hmm. International atmosphere and so mm -hmm. on. Um, yeah, and to end this episode about Okinawa, remember how we were talking about Taiwan in the episode about Taiwan yeah. and saying how Taiwan is like the best in the world in so many different ways and then we were saying like, 
Wait, let, let, let's wait until we see what is Japan like. Mm -hmm. What is Japan like? Fantastic. Amazing. Remarkable. Japan is on a completely different level. Yeah, Taiwan, one of a kind. Yeah, Taiwan is amazing. South Korea, one of our top I places, think is amazing. Japan is number one and Taiwan is number two. South Korea is not number three. It's somewhere quite high. Yes, but Ta Thailand three. is very high. I think Thailand is number three. Could be so. But uh, Japan... What about Brazil? Which is Brazil? I don't know. Brazil is completely different story. <laughs> Let's talk about Brazil another time. But uh, Japan is uh, on a completely different level. I was ready for way more confusion. Like I was ready for problems with the language, with the different ways of things working. But uh, it was much, much easier, especially in Okinawa. It felt just great. Yeah. And I was so, 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 so surprised about the prices because uh, they are not much higher than in Southeast Asia in some occasions. Mm -hmm. They are not much higher. No. Japan is amazing. Okinawa is amazing. Well, it's definitely a much better value for money than in, in the Philippines. Yes. 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 Until next time, go to Okinawa. Bye.